Hello, today I will show you how to create a proxy class from a WSDL file. So in SOAP, you are SOAP web service, you have the WSDL file. So from the WSDL file, you create a class, proxy class, and then use this proxy class in .NET and call the web service. So suppose your client give a WSDL file to you, you can create proxy class using two way. One is using WSDL exe .NET provide. Another way is create a solution in Visual Studio and then create a proxy class which you have a limited control on it. I prefer to do using command prompt with still exe and create the class and using the class you can upload to a solution and create a dll and you can use this dll later on or you can e create your own project and use the class and then in that way what's the benefit of it is you have your own control you can modify your class you can extend your class and you can use it whatever way you want so let's see how you can create the class suppose uh, you have visual studio installed in your pc now you need to run the command prompt to run the whistle command so i have a hard time to find where the whistle.exe is and then later on I found I don't need to find where the whistle is I can use the Visual Studio developer command if you don't know Visual Studio developer command prompt what you can do just go to start and then find Visual Studio folder so I have the Visual Studio 2017 community version you can see here the folder and if you see there is developer command prompt if you click on the developer command prompt and then write wstl you can see the help so how many parameter the we still exe use so you don't need to know all the parameter to use or you can learn more i can show you what's the quickest way to create the class using the whistle so you can put the url of whistle and then you can create the class or you can have your whistle file in your local folder suppose in this whistle folder i have two whistle file and i want to create uh, a class pv class from whistle file so to create this one what i need to do first of all i need to write here whistle whistle then i need to specify the language so your language can be pv or c sharp for my scenario my language is pv if you don't give any input of language the default is c sharp so it will create the class using c sharp language language for me i have defined it pv and then slash out out means where is your output class should be so for my case my output class should be in c folder in whistle under whistle and my whistle file name here is stuffing dot whistle so i'll copy this one copy here sorry so here my stuffing but it should not be whistle it should be stuffing dot v b okay and 
where is my whistle file is so I'll copy this one here and put control V okay I'll write down C colon DL Whistel slash SDA FF ING stuffing dot plus T L now click enter now you will see in the folder there is a stuffing dot pb so what you can do you can copy this pb file to your solution visual studio solution project compile it and create the library file so i can show you how to create the library file in very shortcut way so if you open the visual studio visual studio 27 now what I can do I have one solution here I'll show you what I have done so if you open a solution or what you can do is so this is my solution I will just remove everything what you can do is you can create a new solution from project and create a solution under this solution what you can do you just open up your project here right click and then click add and then what you can do is existing item in existing item what you can you can select your two or three whatever the view file add that's it compile and it will compile uh, and create the dll for you so thanks for watching so and using this dll you can use anywhere in any project so thank you for watching i hope it will help you guys